pet the egg for a little bit and watch them and see if they hatch. Hello! Ha! Friends and family! Ah, this is a good one for you guys today. I'm actually starting the vlog the night before the morning that I'm starting the vlog. As you see, it's dark outside. I'm in the Freedom Breeder office. If you guys don't know where that is already, I was here yesterday. If you watch all the videos, which you should, we're posting videos every day now. Make sure you turn on the notifications so you can get notified of all the videos because if you're just subscribed, it's not good enough apparently. I am trapped in the Freedom Breeder facility here. I got locked in. I was getting some late night work done. I think Jesse's now sleeping. His dad is also sleeping. And their phones are off. Somebody locked the gate. There's like a barbed wire fence. I can't even climb out safely. I'm literally stuck here. I've set up a little makeshift bed right there. I have Jesse, this is where Jesse's desk is. I'm gonna sleep where he stands all day. Put down what a Jimmy's sweatshirt, got my pillow. Cut my losses and just try and get some shut eye here. So we'll pick up tomorrow and we'll see how the morning goes or if anybody comes to my rescue, which isn't looking very likely. Uh, I haven't done that in a while. I sleep on a hard surface, that is. Uh, now the gate's open. I think Don got here, opened it up, turned the lights on, woke me up. Can't see. Barbed wire fence. I wasn't trying to climb that night just to get out here and have to walk somewhere. No. But now that we're out here, I figure. I figure we might as well watch the sunrise together. What do you say? It looks like it should be a pretty good one. Ah, oh, that was kind of nice. I just, I got Jimmy's sweatshirt back on again. I really did think that I was never going to wear this sweatshirt this summer. I thought it was a big joke that Jimmy gave me a sweatshirt in the summer. It really did. It really did. I've worn this thing so much now, though. Ah, uh, speaking of Jimmy. Flushing right, well, speaking of Jimmy, I guess he's not going to be here today because he's too good. Guys, this is exactly what I was telling you guys in the other video. This guy flushing shows up late. Sometimes I don't even show up to work. It's ridiculous, man. I was, Do you believe that? I want to talk to him about this sweatshirt. Toss that, put on a Freedom Breeder shirt. Yeah, it's stuck. I'm gonna go back in that room show you guys some cool snakes too because if I'm here so we might as well But also I want to get back to my house and see if that queen is later clutch. You know what I'm saying? Hey Jess, the floor mat. Brother. It's pretty comfy. Did you sleep on it? <laughs> oh, you got locked into here? <laughs> you couldn't open the door? No, I could open that door. I, I couldn't get out of the gate. So I just like... Yo, I'll fall asleep right I here. I slept on the floor right there. <laughs> <laughs> I got back at like 11.20 and I was laughing because I was like, hell I know you were laughing. I told you I got locked in and I got LOL back. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, I'm like 40 minutes away. I can't do nothing. It was a good experience. I, I you know... It was not, a nice mask. It's not huh? my first time being locked up. It was like up, a mask so. comfy, huh? What happened? Do you have abandonment issues? Have what issues? Abandonment issues. I got abandoned, yeah. It happened. You got thrown out, huh? No, I got thrown in and left in. It was open. You can just open a door and go out. Yeah, I could go out of the room, but I couldn't leave the parking lot because of the gate locked and the barbed wire fence. Bang on the RV. Lindy, open up the gate. I didn't want to throw my struggles on the old man and make him, you know, worry about my stuff. He's got his own troubles. He would have just grumbled for a few minutes. All right, all right. All right. It was that few minutes of grumbling I wasn't willing to put up with. Earplugs. Jesse and I are about to film some awesome videos for you on the Freedom Breeder channel. Check out this mom back here. She's maternally incubated her eggs and there's a beautiful little baby poking its head out of the egg. These are definitely going to be the two coolest snakes I could possibly show you today at Freedom Breeder facility. That is sweet. I would love to try this at our place sometime. Look, mom is just ready to defend those babies, man. That's freaking ah, so cool to see. Make sure you stay tuned on the Freedom Breeder channel. Jesse's gonna do a full in-depth video about this coming up. All right, homies, we on the road again. So I'm gonna be going on the road quite a bit here coming up, especially when I start doing these educational shows. So I'm thinking we're gonna make this talking in the car thing a regular segment and it'll be a, a nice moment for me to strap on the old chin hair mic and 
talk with you guys about whatever's on my mind at the moment. And well, I'd like to limit. I can really ramble on these drives, so I, I'd like to, like I did yesterday, try to keep it to a time limit. I did three minutes yesterday. The point is to challenge myself because I could really go on forever. And also, I like to keep these videos at a certain length so they don't get too crazy and too long. You know, I, I do like to try and keep them under 15 minutes. I don't always. I realize people have other things to do than watch a video that's longer than 15 minutes every day. So I'm trying to take your time into account too. But if you have a number in mind that you think is a really good number, for, I'd like to keep it three minutes or less. Today, we're going to do two minutes and 15 seconds. Let's go. People always ask me, like, how do you stay so positive? Like, why, why are you always so happy? And it's really simple for me. It's, a, you know, this video is about being locked up and Freedom Breeder. I've been locked up for real. So I've been in much tighter, confined spaces. I've been, oh, this road is close to through traffic. That's the way I usually go. I'm just going to go around, I guess. That's a perfect example right there. If one road's closed, I just look for the other way. Whatever's going to be better. You know, I've slept on harder surfaces. I've been in smaller spaces for longer amounts of time. When people ask me just randomly a lot, like at the grocery store, I'm in line and the clerk asks me, oh, how's it going? My general response is, I've had worse. That's me looking on the bright side, you know? It's like, I have had worse in almost any given situation. I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything because they've made me the person I am today and given me the outlook and makes me realize you have a choice about how you feel about everything. This is a dead horse I'm gonna beat again and again on this channel is that you have a choice about how you feel about anything. It's a choice. Nobody can make you mad. You're letting them make you mad. You're choosing to let them make you mad. And all I have to do is look back at how bad is it really? You know, I'm, lo I'm locked in the Freedom Breeder building. A whole bunch of snakes I could play with. There's running water, a toilet. I had my pillow with me. I had Jimmy's sweatshirt to lay down so I'm not laying directly on where Jesse steps all day. So many reasons to be thankful. Even though it wasn't convenient to be stuck inside the facility overnight. It wasn't that bad. It was actually, it turned out to be an enjoyable experience for me because it was different. It was an experience versus the boring, plain old, same old where I don't have the unexpected happen to me. That's how I look at it. I don't know if it's been two minutes and 15 seconds yet already or not, but I'm gonna back up so this truck can make it around this corner. Otherwise, none of us are going anywhere. All right. I could go on and on about this, and this is why I'm trying to put a time limit, because I want to get home, and I want you guys to see if we've got the queen on eggs yet or not. Jesse had his nice incubation clutch. I want to see if I got my clutch. And we still got to say hi to the boys. All right, I really hope I was able to keep it in the time limit. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to that abrupt stop. Hey, for all you guys that that are waiting to comment down, like, why didn't I, why didn't I just sleep in my truck, or, or why didn't I go knock on Lindy's RV and wake him up and let me out, or, or try and call Jesse a hundred times till he woke up? Why you gotta bring up old? <laughs> just kidding. Bring it up all you want. Let's go see the queen, and then we'll go upstairs to see the family. Still a mess in here, just like I left it. Come on, Queenie. Come on, Queenie. Come on, Queenie, Queenie, Queenie with the eggs. Come on, Queenie. Come on, Queenie. Come on, Queenie, Queenie, Queenie with the eggs. Oh, oh man, she's oh, she's laying eggs right now. She's laying them right now, guys. Oh my gosh, all right, I'm gonna leave her alone. Oh, I think she might be done even. I think she might be done. All right. Oh, that's so freaking cool, man. Clown pied on eggs, it's a great thing to see. I think she's done. Oh, I want to be sure though. Let's give her some time and I'll come back and see if she's in the same position. There's still a soccer practice, so I'm gonna jump in the shower real quick, come back, we'll say what's up, see what those boys know, and then maybe go pull those queen eggs. <laughs> Freaking stuff. <laughs> how, is nah. how is karate, my guy? Good. Good? Yeah. Not so. Is it a Fighting. What? That was fighting and karate? Yeah. No. <laughs> it was for the big guy. Oh, yeah. No, Sage is having enough sleep over his brothers. I mean, his cousins. His cousins. Brother also. Cousins. Also. And also. Help up. Help up. What are you doing up here, T? Sweepy dancey, dude. Ah. Hey, Screamings. What? 
What do you know? I know. Mouth. <laughs> what about mouth? That it has teeth and a tongue and eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Your mouth has eyes? I don't see any eyes in there for some reason. <laughs> Nom, 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 nom. Hey, T, what do you know? I know who a slug. A slug. But the rest of them, I think, might be good. And can you get the slug for me? Yeah, I can get the slug for you. There you go, my guy. Your very own slug. And then I want to drop it downstairs. Oh, okay. You want to splat it downstairs? Yeah. You silly guy. Oh, man. I'm so stoked to see her on eggs, dude. This is awesome. So she was paired with a pastel and she clown. So all these babies are going to be at least clown, 100% het pied. With the possibility of also pastel and she clowns, 100% het pied. So... Fantastic clutch she gave us. She is the woman. She is the girl. She's the lady. She's the one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's Grammys. So cool. You're going to yay your eggs and bring them back. She's going to crawl out, I think. Mm, I don't think so. I think she's going to stay with her eggs no matter what. It's okay, Missy. Don't worry. We're going to take real good care of them, I promise. Real good care. Let's see if there's another slug. Got one booby egg. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry, mommy. We got them for you. Check her out. Looks like she's empty. Let's double check here. And I'm going to pet this. Yeah, she's done. Everything's out. Get all stuck. Yep, good. We're just going to leave them just like that and put them in the incubator. We've got six good eggs and one slug. Fantastic, man. Thanks. Let's drop this egg right now. <laughs> I mean, slug. You ready? Yep. Yeah. 